Also, I was thinking that you don't necessarily choose your direct family, for example, your mother, your father, your brother, your uncles, but you, you do choose, you know, your, your friend and your significant other. And I, I was telling my friend that if, if he did get married, he, he wanted to get married and he wanted kids, he's 40 years old. And I was like, yeah, you know, it's a business because essentially you're, you're partnering up with another person and you're sharing responsibilities, your time, your resources. And he said, he was like, nah, it's not a business. And it's like, uh, biologically, if you look in the past, a, a man, a man's purpose is to take care of business and to bring in resources. And if, uh, if, if the man doesn't have those things on, he, he's not necessarily going to attract the, the opposite sex. That, dude, this is my opinion though. And, and also, I, I was talking to one of my friends that if, if, if uh, you were on a basketball team, right, what, would you want to be on the best team? And then he was like, no, nah, I would want to be on a team where we, we have good chemistry. Obviously, you want good chemistry, and, and the objective is to win. It's not necessarily to uh, to, to play well. It's like you, you want to win, essentially. And, and if you don't want to win, then what's the point of playing, in my opinion? It's like if, if I was going to get into a fight, I don't want to win. And that that's why I would train or I would work out so that I'm, I'm, I could be the best training partner that I could be for myself and other people as well. But for sure, Michael Jordan, he, he didn't start winning championships until... He, uh, he started training hard and, and until he had a good team. And it sounds kind of shallow, but you you want to want you want to be on a good team so that you could be successful in life. It's like if if you were gonna start a family and have kids, <laughs> wow, why would you want like the <laughs> the worst person? You you would want the best person. It, it's uh, it's nature. It's biological. Obviously, there could be exceptions, but I'm talking about in general. I'm also, for uh, for your parents' advice, some people, they will do anything that their parents say, and even as an adult, they will still do it. And, and in my opinion, because I, I didn't necessarily have good parents, I would just take their words as advice because I, I could see and I could learn from their mistakes. And for sure, I, I would not want to be like them in the future well whatever good traits they have hopefully i inherited them and whatever was negative about them i, I, I tried to uh, to change or i tried not to uh to repeat that cycle for example like smoking or gambling or uh, a lack of financial knowledge and also for your your parents time Things have changed a lot in the past 20 to 30 years. So the way they see things, it may or not be fit for them to, to make judgment. But sometimes old practices, old beliefs, they still apply. For example, uh, if, if you fast when, when you're injured or sick, then there's a possibility that it, it could help you. It's written in all the major religious books. But everybody makes mistakes on, just say for example, if, if, if I could go back in time and talk to myself, I could give myself the, the best advice and obviously it would change the trajectory of my life. Um, I think that I'll, I would be so stubborn that maybe I wouldn't listen to myself and, and I would still try to do what I wanted at the time. And well, once I succeed or if I fell then it would point me in a different direction of where to go. And I would essentially adapt to the lessons that I learned. I think that you, you either grow, you stagnate, or you die. And it's a circle of life. Life is short. Every day is a, is a new a new chance for you, though. If, if you're breathing, if, if you live in this country during this time, you're, you're blessed. Because other people, they don't necessarily have the same opportunities. They, they don't necessarily have, you know, the, the same health that, that we have, the the same uh, chances that we get, the safety as well. I, I was talking to one of my friends and he said that everything in this country is a cash grab. And it's true because 
this country is built on, you know, consumerism. And it's whether or not you want to be a consumer and make other people rich, or do you want to be a provider and do you want to collect? It's up to you how you, you want to play the game. And for, for sure, if you're saving, you're losing essentially due to uh, inflation, taxes, sales tax, federal, state, whatever, right? And you, you can either play against the house or you could try and copy them and play with them. It, it depends on what you think the, the best return on investment is. Well, when I first started investing, I, I wanted to try and, and beat the system, but if, if you're consistent, it's like working out. If, if you work out every day, you, you would build up your body slowly and, and you would be strong, you would be healthy, build good habits, gain confidence. But if, if you're trying to do things fast, things may or may not work out for you. And sometimes you could get lucky, sometimes you won't, but for sure. If, if you have a long view of things and you, you can see things for, for what they are and try and check your emotions, then you're, you will be okay. And... It, it's a lesson that I'm learning because my my account went from you know a hundred percent down to seventy five percent and it, it affected my emotions. I, I wasn't happy, but I should know that uh, we're within thirty years that it, it will probably go up two to five hundred percent, whatever, right? So in, in general, I would say that you shouldn't care what people think about you. But on the flip side, that if they could give you good criticism, you you could use it as advice. So if, if they give you, if they say something that you don't like, you you should still try and figure out whether or not it's a valid argument. And if it's something that you can improve on, then why not, right? Because you you could go up to anybody and ask them, oh, you know, can can you crit critique my haircut or my skin or my fashion, my shoes, whatever, right? And just get their opinion and, and be open-minded about it. Sometimes you have to play into other people's interests. For example, if, if you were going to meet with a potential business partner and they like playing golf or they like drinking or gambling, then those are activities that you are, you may have to learn to like and, and get good at them. Because, for example, I'm not good at golf, but... If they wanted to play golf with me, then I, I just wouldn't be good at it and, and it would be a bad experience for that opportunity. Or, for example, if, if they like to dance or if they like to shoot guns or whatever, they, these are things that, fun things that you, you, you could try out and see if you like them or not. Also, when I was a kid, I, I used to play Nintendo games. And I, I would always go to like the game store and they would have the, the game guides, the player guides, where they have tips and tricks on how, how to make the game easier, how to make it more pleasurable. And I, I, I think that if, if I was more into reading books, that these are also guides that, that I could have learned. I, I could have used in real life and I, I feel like it, it could have made me made my life easier and, and these are things that I'm trying to do right now to, to improve my personal and professional career. I'm also, I'm, I was thinking about what happens to bullies in martial arts gyms. So, for example, one guy, he was he was essentially roughing up a lower ranked person or maybe somebody who's smaller or maybe a, a guy was roughing up a female and it's like the instructor would essentially tell a higher ranked person uh, go get this guy, and uh, you you would essentially have free reigns to do whatever you want to him. That that's probably what happens right now. But back in the days, I, I'm pretty sure that they, they probably beat that person up, and and they essentially kicked them out of the gym. I, I was watching the boys, the show, and essentially the father of a girl he said, "Oh, don't bring my daughter to this this rally," and then the stepfather was like, "Oh, it's no problem." And then the stepfather was like, oh, I'm, I'm more of a father than you, essentially. And then <laughs> it's ultimate disrespect, right? And then the real father, he, he slapped him in his face. Obviously, there, there's a spirit of the law and letter of the law, right? There, there's street versus uh, well, what, what you could do legally. But 
I'm, I'm, I would never disrespect somebody like that.